Welcome to That's Easy, the video tutorial series that helps you use Wadlow Easy Zone products. In this installment, we will define auto, manual, and off modes of control. Show how to determine which control mode is active, show conditions that change the control mode, and show how to change the control mode via the keypad. The controller has three control modes of operation. Auto mode, also referred to as closed loop control. Manual mode, also referred to as open loop control. And off, where there is no control output. In auto mode, the controller monitors the sensor input to determine if closed loop control is possible. In this diagram, a type T thermocouple monitors the temperature of a heater. The controller checks to make certain a functioning sensor is providing a valid input signal. Assuming the user requested the auto mode and a valid analog input signal is present, the controller will perform closed loop control. Closed loop control uses the process sensor to determine the difference between the process value shown here in red on the upper display and the closed loop set point shown here in green on the lower display. The controller applies or removes power to a control output to reduce the difference. To change the user requested closed loop set point, use the up or down key to enter the desired closed loop set point while in auto mode. Holding a key in accelerates the changing value. Release before you see the desired set value to prevent going past your selection. This setting applies provided that other sources of closed loop set point are not active. The controller will accept the change set point after three seconds of no keypad activity. Notice the heater being activated shown here by the number one red LED illumination next to the process temperature. This indicates that output 1 is being activated. Output 1 is connected to apply power to the heater. The temperature begins to rise as the heat is applied and is measured by the sensor. In manual mode, the controller does not use the sensor input to control the load, but operates in open loop. The controller still updates the readings from the sensor if connected. The user specifies the amount of power to supply the load. The percent indicator shows the manual set point is in power. The output indicator flashes at a rate proportional to the selected output. Please note that 0.1 to 100.0% settings represent heating, and negative 0.1 to negative 100.0% represent cooling requests for power. open loop set point is set at 50%, which causes the heater to produce 50% of available power. The output indicator will flash at a 50% rate to indicate this setting. The process will stabilize at a temperature where 50% heat applied to the load equals the heat lost by the system. In off mode, the controller outputs are set to off, so there is no power applied to the load. The lower display indicates off in place of the active set point. The controller still updates the readings from the sensor if connected. The output indicators stay off to indicate the output activity. There are conditions that alter the control mode. Some of the conditions are a manual or off control mode override is requested via digital input, easy key, or action function. These are programmable by the user. A sensor has failed, and the control mode changes to the user pre-programmed action. A profile has started, which causes the controller to enter auto mode. A profile has ended, which may be programmed to enter the off mode in the last step of the profile. A request to change mode is sent using communications from a PC or PLC, and most commonly, 
the user requests a control mode change using the keypad. You may request a control mode to be active, but find that your request is not in effect. If one of the previous methods changed the control mode, it is useful to look at the active control mode to see which control mode is currently in effect. As an example, you want auto mode, but a defective sensor or a PLC prevents your request from being carried out. The active control mode may be viewed in the operations page monitor menu, and the parameter is abbreviated C.MA for control mode active. To access the operations page, press both arrow keys together until the green display shows operation, abbreviated OPER. Release the keys, and using either the up key or down key, locate the monitor menu, abbreviated MON in the red display. Note that the letter M uses two digits. For products with more than one loop, you may have more than one monitor menu. Enter the appropriate menu for the loop of interest. Next, press the advance key until the parameter C.MA is displayed. The control mode is only viewable in this location. You may not alter it. Pressing the infinity or reset key for two or more seconds returns the display to the home page. Control mode may be changed in the operations page, loop menu, and the parameter is abbreviated C.M for control mode. Again, to access the operations page, Press both arrow keys together until the green display shows operation, abbreviated OPER. Release the keys and use an either the up key or down key. Locate the loop menu, abbreviated LOOP in the red display. If there is more than one loop, enter the appropriate loop menu. Next, press the advance key until the parameter C.M is displayed. Use either the up or down key to make your selection. The choices are Auto, Manual, or Off. Again, pressing the Infinity or Reset key for two seconds returns the display to the home page. The control mode may be changed in the home page by using the Advanced key to locate Control Mode 1 for Loop 1, abbreviated C.M1. The number after the M represents the loop of the control mode being changed. C.M1 for Loop 1. C.M2 for loop 2, and so on. Using an arrow key allows the choice to be entered. Pressing the infinity or reset key for two or more seconds returns the display to the home page. This method assumes that the custom menu has been programmed to display these parameters at the home page. To program the home page, refer to the user's manual or see other video installments. Let's review what we've covered. There are three modes of control. Auto, called closed loop control. Manual, called open loop control. And off. There are conditions other than a user's request to alter the control mode. And the user programs when these conditions will occur. Use the parameter control mode active to determine which control mode is in effect. And we demonstrated how to view and change the control mode in the operations page, loop menu, and at the home page. Still have questions? Refer to any supplied user's manual for the equipment and controller. Electronic copies of Easy Zone controller manuals are available on Watlow's website. Questions on the equipment should be directed to the original equipment manufacturer or systems integrator. Only they know the equipment and the required controller settings. For questions specific to the controller, email Wattlow Technical Support at wintechsupport at wattlow.com or call and speak to an application engineer at 507 494 5656 between 7 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. If you email or call Waffle, be sure to have the controller's model number. We hope you found this installment of That's Easy helpful. We'll explore additional topics in other installments.